All right, thank you. Joining me on the Red Alliance, we have Team 169E, the Calvary, coming from Aberford, Pennsylvania. Their alliance partners, Team 8059X, Blank from Singapore. On the blue side of the field, we have Team 929U, Hereford Zone Robotics from Parkton, Maryland. Their alliance partners, 62A, coming to us from Studio City, California. Drivers ready. All right, what do you think, Paul and Karthik? Well, I think that we saw a lot of defense there, Tita. But again, the defense came late. Defense came late, um, but they played much better defense, positional defense here. Um, Paul, I, you just mentioned the word positional defense. Do you want to explain to the audience what exactly that means? So positional defense comes down to two things. Sometimes beating somebody to the spot they want to be, but the other time is utilizing our pinning rules to your advantage. You have five seconds. The rest counted out clearly. So smart pinning, with good positional defense, is pinning a team for four seconds and then clearly backing all the way away. That's actually more effective than like pinning for two seconds, backing up not enough, and then the refs yelling at you. You pin for four seconds clearly and clearly get yourself out of the way. Much better way to do a, a, use pinning to your advantage. Well, especially because the pinning rules require you to back up by about two feet, which is the size of one tile. And you can make it very visual for the ref. If you leave one tile between you and the other robot, the ref knows that their pin count is over. That's right. So it looks like we have another replay here to take a look at some of the action from that match. So in this replay, you can clearly see the head ref counting the pinning. 62, 62 uh, clearly getting out of the way after that. And they're caught between the two red robots. Uh, but again, positionally pushing, you know, 169E left alone once they have the stack because it's just too dangerous to play defense. And one thing that I saw there, Paul, is a lot of the times that you'll have one robot who's playing defense and they'll try and defend two robots. But there's just too much going on. And really good defense when it comes to competitive robotics involves staying on one robot and being patient and not letting them go. We saw that 62A backed away there. That freed up 169. 62A backed up to go after um, their uh, 8059X. And that freed up 169 to take that goal with that very tall stack and put it in the zone. Great move from 169 for waiting their time for the exact right moment to make their score. It looks like we have a score, Karthik. All right, and let's see what that score is from the match. Math takes it 93 to 71. So against these high-powered offensive teams from these other divisions, the defense just isn't quite enough to get it done. I know the buzz coming in here was that science was a favorite because of their defensive strategies, but I think the offensive robots that they've faced here are just a little bit too good to be taken down with that level of defense. So now that everyone has played two matches, let's take a look at where our rankings sit right now. And there we go with our updated rankings. Technologies in first is the only team who is undefeated. We have a four-way tie at one and one that's going to shake itself out as teams play more matches. And Science Division playing those really great defensive strategies. It's just not working out so far. But we know the teams on the Science Division, 929U and 682A, they're definitely going to adapt. But the other teams are going to be adapting as well. Here's an interesting statistic for 929U. These two losses in the round robin are their first two losses for the entire season. Pat, entire season? Yes, qualification rounds, elimination rounds, playoffs here, elimination rounds here, obviously. And, and today, th these are their first two losses. Oh, that, that's a crazy stat, Paul, and that's really interesting stuff.